Boy, it was a close one, said James. Diesel turned and recorded and I was just about to go off the edge of the track. But Mr. Conductor's cousin Junior used the last of his gold dust to get me and him out of there. I just wish I could have saved this little look on Diesel Ten's face. I've been friends with Junior ever since he's and he's one of the greatest conductors an engine could wish for. <laughs> that that's a good store. Don't we, James? said Melissa. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I've been actually been in safe from sweat twice. It was a time where he oh found me from the other railway, and the time I got I broken down and Spearkin and John took me to the scrapyard, but Wilbur had saved me. Me. Just listen to them, Stepney, said Stafford. Don't you remember how Rusty and Sir Topham Hatt saved you and saved you from scrap? You you told me me once before. Yup, I remember that. I yup, I remember that, mate, said Stepney. And step me and stuff with water with the with the factory cars. The sort of cookie factory cars. That step me over. Arrived at the at a junction where Sir Topham Hat was looking upset. Is something wrong, sir? asked Stepney. Me? Well, Sir Topham Hat. Come here. Uh. Ever since the appearance, the, the disappearance of John, John Spam, Ken, and George, George, and now an engine who's taking John's place like Scum's missing too. Too. Who, who is it? Who, what kind of an engine is he? said Stepney. If if you tell if you tell me, I think I might find him. Well, says the top of my He's an engine of Thomas's class. He's read as and has the letters L M S. L M L M S. Hmm, said Stepney. I'll I'll try and look for him, sir. Sir. And Stepney and Stafford, Stafford rolled away. So Stepney was uncoupled from Stepney and Stafford were uncoupled from the on the train for Hank. Hank Stepney was coupled up to two fuel takers and a and a rusty old caboose. Where are you taking those? said said Stafford. I'm going to try and look for that engine, said Stepney. Said Stepney. Me. What I wonder if he's um unlocked and ended up somewhere near Vickerstown or something. Think, You're crazy, said Stafford. He might have gotten lost and um uh, might have ended up in the docks or something. Don't be silly. Said, Don't be silly, mate. Said Stepney. And Step... He steamed away. To go find the end. Your fault, Rex. No, it's not. Uh, yes, it is. Thanks to you and Frank, John is now gone missing. 
Alf is now gone. He's not gone. He's he's not gone. He's missing. There's a difference, mind you. You you and and what you say thing is not true. Ooh. Jo John is just just that um not lost his what he, and he, and whatever said Norman. I'm going now. Now. Don't take no notice of him, bear, said Rex. And Rex steamed away. Yeah. Said bear. And bear followed. That he soon arrived at the Vickers Town Diesel Works where the fuel was to be dropped off and and then he had his look inside. He saw a red engine with the letters L M S M S and and looked like it looked a little like Thomas. Except it had four wheel it had, except it had it had eight wheels. I used the Topham Hot's new engine, said Stepney to the red engine. Um, yes, said the red engine. Engine. Don't worry. My name, name's Stepney. And I'm gonna get you a hold of here. Here. Oh, thank you, said the red engine. I should, I could definitely use a scrapyard rescue. Don't worry. We may accept I'm going to get you out of here. Not so fast. Not so fast. Said Dan and Dodge's voice as they came out of the... Nowhere. You're not thinking of taking that, are you? Uh, no. Sidney. I was just going to, uh, borrow it. You're right, said Sidney. How dumb do you think we are? Really dumb. Said Stepney. Huh. He's calling us really dumb, said Dort. Huh. We'll have Dante take care of this one. Well, Dante alone. And just what do you think you are doing, said Dante. He's trying to take away that engine, said Dan. Well then, said Dante. Well, well, well it looks like we're going to have to take it. Where well, are you first, then? And he, and he buffered up to Stepney and pushed him into the smelters. Just then, the Jersey Transit break him by single and smashed into Dante as he was going over a switch. Dante went flying into the air. And fell off on his side. Ouch! Said Dante. That that's it. We're getting out of here, said Dort. And, they, and Dan and Dart raced away, followed by Sidney. Don't don't worry, said the New Jersey Transit train. I mean, you're safe for now. Get get that red engine out of here before more diesels come back. And the New Jersey Treasure Trade raced away. Stepney dropped off the fuel and the rest of the old caboose. The couple of the red engine and away quickly. The next morning, Sir Topper Miller contacted all the engines, Bulgy and Heron. Alright, said Sir Topper Miller. If you see if you see a red engine, well um good luck finding him. Uh uh sir, said Stepney, I think I have something you're looking for. My new engine, said Sir Topham Hat. Where have you been? Well we just gotten lost and ended up in somewhere near the Vickerstown scrapyard. You did these so works. I thought so, said Stafford. Hmm? 
And, um, by the way, what's your name? I don't think I've ever seen you before. My name's Albert, said the Red Engine. Albert, eh? said Rex. I've, I've heard of you. You worked with... You you worked some where, where it was snowing, right? Yep, said Albert. You want to work with, um... Victoria, right? Right? And that other coach, and I don't even know his name, said Rex. How did you know me, said Albert. Well, um... Toby and... Toby told me, and, um, Victoria told him. Him. Victoria will be very happy to see you. And all... So, sets the top of hat. I think I know just a place for you to work. Right. 